Hi guys, it's Angie the Craft Nato, and I'm here today with a small unbagging from another cross stitch company that contacted me. Um, I've opened for them before and they have some really nice things. The name of the company is Let Me DIY. Um, you can find them on the internet, <laughs> letmediy.com. I will have their link to their shop along with a list of links to the products that I show in the description of the video if you're interested. So let's get right into it. And this is the first kit that I got. And it is going to be adorable. Now, sometimes these kits can, um, the picture, because of the material that this pattern is printed on, the picture can be a little faint. So I hope that you can see that all right. But it is just an adorable cat sitting on a pumpkin with a skull and another jack-o'-lantern wearing a witch hat with some bats flying around. Super, super cute. Love it, love it, love it. Um, this is a 14 count kit. It's 30 by 35 centimeters. So not too big, but you'll notice when I pull it out and we look at the pattern, um, it has 28 colors, but you'll notice that it is a full coverage piece. In other words, all of this background, everything within the square is stitched. So everywhere you see yellow on here is all stitched in the color that corresponds with that yellow code, which we'll find out what it is in a second. So here is our piece of fabric, and this is a counted kit. This is not a stamped kit. So you're gonna be going by the pattern, um, which is not a big deal. It would, you know, if, if if you're if you're up for that, it's not a big deal. <laughs> um, but let's see. Oh, the toolkit. I'm sorry, that took me a little bit by surprise. I didn't anticipate seeing this in here. So you do have a little bit uh, nicer of a toolkit with this. You have a little puff ball with five needles, just in case you break any. A bobbin, a thimble, a threader, and a seam ripper. So that's nice that they give you those little tools. Then we have our floss. And there is a ton of this color. This must be color number nine, um, this cream color. So that's gonna be all the background color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say that if you didn't wanna do all of that stitching, that you could leave that and only stitch the image and I think that that would be perfectly fine. Keep in mind that with these stamped kits, even though this isn't tech, this isn't really a stamped kit because you're gonna, you, you, this is counted, there's no stamped image uh, to stitch by that you're stitching on top of, but even at that, all of this printing along here, when you're finished cross stitching, if you soak this in water, all of this printing goes away. So this, you'll end up with a completely blank canvas when you're finished, aside from your, you know, your stitching, of course. Um, so that is nice to know. So let's take a look at the floss that comes with it. What did I say? 28 colors. So these are your 28 colors. Lots of just rusty oranges, blacks, some gray, some a um, little bit of green, some white. Very cool. This is going to look really, really neat. And I think that I am going to, that's just so much stitching to do that background. I seriously think that I'm going to just do the image itself and not the background. Um, but that's a personal choice. You know, you can do whatever you want. It's your project. There's no, there's no cross stitching police that are going to come and tell you, you have to do it a certain way. So it's your project and you can do it however you want. Um, but that's the first kit that I got. Let me stick that back in the bag so I don't lose the parts of it and get all confused about what goes to what. I just love Halloween images, um, whether it be cross stitch or diamond painting, they're just really fun for me. Ooh, okay, this is the second one that I got. Love, love, love it. Isn't he gorgeous? And my rooster looks just like that. He is an absolutely gorgeous dude. Uh, and so I saw this one and I had to have it. 
Let's pull it out of here and see. Now this, we're going back to a stamped kit, which is great. Uh, I like a stamped kit. I'm not sure. I think that this one is an 11 count kit. We'll see if it tells us. It's 129 by 173 stitches, which uh, for an 11 count is going to be a 40 by 50 centimeter. So we have our pattern here. And even though we do have the pattern, we don't really need it because it is a pre-stamped kit. And it is a full coverage piece, which means you're going to be stitching every cross in this 40 by 50. So this is going to be a bit of a project. This is going to be a big, uh, this is going to be a big project. And again, um, after you're finished stitching this, you soak it in water and all of this background, all of this um, stamped printing all goes away. So you don't have to worry about that showing up underneath your stitching because it will be completely gone and you'll be left with just white canvas. Um, I've done several of these and I've never had any of them bleed onto the floss or leave any residue on the canvas never had any trouble at all uh, so that's not a concern in the least and this is 11 count um, so you're going to be using three strands of floss and this is really nice silky feeling floss this yeah this feels like really good floss and here are the gorgeous rich colors that are going to go into it very very beautiful rich colors are going to be um, used on this I really like them. He's going to be just gorgeous, just gorgeous. And there's a good deal of color blocking in it, but um, it's, you know, mixed in with some confetti areas, but it's not, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. It's not going to be like Starry Night or something where, you know, you've got a color change every two seconds, every two stitches. So that is the second one that I got, and I love him. I, I'm really excited to do this one. This will be one that will definitely be uh, hanging on my kitchen wall with the rest of my kitchen or my chicken decorations. I've got some paintings hanging up there now, um, but this will this will add to my my kitchen chicken collection. That's a mouthful. Okay. So then, last but not least, we only had three in this order, so this is going to be pretty quick for you. Let me just slide that back in. Sorry about the delay. Last but not least, I have a Joy Sunday kit. And Joy Sunday is a very popular company for cross stitch. And this is a 14 count kit, which means you'd use two strands of floss in your needle. And this is what it is. It's called the Wild Love and it is pheasants. And isn't that gorgeous? I just think that that is just so beautiful. I love it. I love, love, love it. I got a thing with birds, I think. This one is 33 by 55 centimeters. It is a stamped kit, but what's nice is they do still give you a um, pattern to work off. And what's nice about the Joy Sunday kits is their patterns are really big. So they're nice and easy to see. You only have 13 color. Wow, really? That's it? Can you believe that? that this only has 13 colors? It looks so much more detailed than that. It's not a full coverage kit, so you're going to have areas, you know, blank uh, areas of canvas that are not going to be stitched. So that's going to make it a little bit faster. Let's break out the canvas and the floss and see what those look like. Oh, that's going to be so nice. That's going to be really nice. I am going to love stitching this. I just know I am um, just because of I, I really don't like having to make a lot of color changes. And with this one, you're not going to be making all that many color changes. The canvas is nice and clear. You can see the symbols really well. The same with the other two. I should have pointed that out. I didn't. I was looking at the symbols just to see if I was going to have any confusion because um, I'll give you a look at the key. 
that tells you what color goes where. Um, I was having a look at them on the other canvases too, and I should have mentioned it, but I don't see any problem uh, with seeing and differentiating the symbols on this from one another. So I'm not concerned about having to even use this pattern, but it is nice that they do give you the pattern just in case. Um, in case you were to spill water or something on a section, you know, and the, and the ink war, you know, came off, um, at least you have the pattern to refer to so that you can uh, still know, you know, what's going to go there. So take a look at this floss. You get two needles and your 13 colors. And, you know, they're kind of drab colors, but that's... Um, and look at how nice and shiny that floss is. Very nice. Very nice and silky floss. So yes, that is the third one that I got. And as I mentioned, I will link all of these in the description uh, tab of the video if you're interested. And if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact me in the comment section. I'll get back with you as soon as I can. And that's all I've got for you today. So I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks a lot. Bye guys.